Coronavirus cases in our state near 121,000. Hospitalizations tick up slightly, but the positivity rate continues to drop. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Rick Ritter with numbers seeming to trend in the right direction. Schools statewide now preparing to welcome back more students into the classroom just weeks after school started virtually for most students. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live in southeast Baltimore with how soon many could be closing the laptops and heading back to class. Mike? Denise and Rick, a number of school systems are gradually going to bring students back next month. The latest one to announce that was Harford County. Baltimore City plans a big announcement on October 16th, but a number of parents and teachers are frustrated about what's to come. Everybody's plan is okay. Maryland Superintendent of Schools told the state school board every system in Maryland has provided an acceptable reopening plan and all are cleared to welcome students back into classrooms. We're going to start to see, I think, an increase of the number of students that are getting back to school. At least that's our hope. But the teachers union has continually voiced safety concerns. They continue to be demonized by some elected officials and, and some of you, and it really needs to stop. To inquire as to why bars and restaurants can open and schools can't shows a sincere lack of knowledge and recognition of what takes place in our schools. Several parents voiced frustration to the state board over student athletes not getting to play. Parents trying to find guidance and answers have been running in circles. The state tells us that decisions are left to local school systems, and local school systems tell us their hands are tied because decisions are left with the state. None of us want what we're going through right now. Harford County Superintendent announced a plan to bring some students back to class by October 19th. Learning support centers are already open. We've had some interruptions. We've had kids coming with symptoms and things like that that's caused the contact tracing. We had to send people home. But by and large, um, we, we've been able to operate those pretty safely. By early December, he tells me all grades could be getting in person instruction two days a week. What's your main message to parents? We want your children back in school. Uh, we're going to do this safely, you know, and you know, the best we can in this really difficult environment, but we do want them back in school. Now, Catholic schools in our area have already returned to in-person instruction, but there have been some positive cases. The latest at St. Ursula's in Parkville, there were three students who tested positive. The school says all safety protocols were followed and anyone exposed is now learning virtually. Live in southeast Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ.